Hello, trading is closed on the 26th of January, 2021. We always start with our disclaimer to keep our attorneys happy. It's my plan for tomorrow. No guarantee I'm right. Please obey the rules of the channel and my email is mejt.trades at gmail.com. Look for the pattern with the early high. This is it. Tomorrow has the early low. We said yesterday's pattern was negative, and unless we gapped up and took out yesterday's high, we should trade lower. We gapped up and took out yesterday's high. Didn't have to trade lower too, but we did. During the uh, during the morning, EJT gave an ultimate sell. When it was given, the market rallied, but ultimately we did see lower prices. Later on, it said this rally was not for keeps that it would retrace and we did nothing's carrying over till tomorrow so let's look at some other things this is a pattern which usually rallies into the close that didn't happen if we don't do that we typically drop in a straight line i'm not convinced that's it so there's a good chance we're gonna have a big move at tomorrow's open this pattern in general is pretty negative, so I think it'll be down, but I can be wrong. And if I'm wrong, we'll know before the open by gapping up and taking out this high. Normally, when you hit an all-time high like this and you close in the red, it leads to further declines. It doesn't work every time. What I really don't like is after hitting a new all-time high, we closed under all these previous highs that should be a rejection of the new high but again the time doesn't run out at the close the time runs out at tomorrow's open so if we open up here this drop is a bad memory we're still in what i'm calling an ending diagonal triangle we're still meeting resistance here at the high even though at this upper line even though we're hitting new highs and I still haven't given up on 39.20 even if we drop to if even if we drop in, in tomorrow's trade just remember if we break through this line in grand style like if we gap under it and start dropping I'm not going to cross my fingers and hope we still get that price Well, this is uh, low to low to high pattern of George Lindsay. Doesn't always work, but if we topped out today, I can explain it. I'm really not convinced that the rally is over, even though I think this isn't a very healthy reaction to a new all-time high. Tomorrow's pattern has early low. Doesn't mean you won't gap up. Today's normally bullish pattern did not close near its high. It should lead to lower prices tomorrow unless we gap and promptly overtake today's high. The new all-time high was, re was rejected as we closed under multiple prior highs. And we also had a significant deterioration in breadth with a new all-time high that can't last forever. That being said, I have trouble reading the late drop as a straight line drop normally seen when the bullish pattern fails. It could be, it would be a lot more convincing to me if we gap down smartly tomorrow. So accordingly, we have a good chance, not a guarantee of a gap, probably a strong gap outside today's range at tomorrow's open. FOMC meeting is tomorrow. Often it's followed by whipsaw action. I can't predict it. I always flat going into it. Just too wild for me. Be certain to listen to Norm Winsky on today's other on today's other video. Last month he was accurate more than ninety seven percent of the time, and he'll talk about what he sees for this year's stock market. Don't want to miss that. Tomorrow's pattern 
is the really low. It's an FOMC meeting. It's tough for me to call those, except that they're usually big whipsaws. Good chance we gap outside the range. And this is a negative pattern. It's only invalidated if we take this high out early, ideally by gapping up over it. And that's today's call.